Okay, so when you're ready to go flying, what you need uh, to do is kind of pre-flight the camera bag. So um, I showed a picture of you know all the equipment in the camera bag. Uh, so what you'll need to make sure is that your batteries are charged. You need to make sure that your batteries are charged. <clears throat> and always place a fresh battery in the battery compartment. Make sure that the SD card is present in the camera. Then you'll need the data logger. And it's the, there's two data loggers in the box. There's the Solmeta and there's the, uh, a different one. You want to use the Solmeta one. And that just snaps onto the top of the camera here. Then you'll get out this cable here and you'll plug it in to the side of the data logger <clears throat> and you'll plug the other end down here. And this bottom cable is tricky because you can actually plug this cable in in both orientations. One will go a little bit stiffer than the other so just make sure that I uh, believe it should be in this up direction. Um, so make sure you take the cover off the lens. <clears throat> so there's the lens cover. And then you'll turn the camera on. So the first thing you want to do is delete all the pictures on the camera. So you'll go to the little play section, you'll go delete, you'll go down to all, delete all images, yes. This will make sure that you've got a clean slate when you're, when you're starting to take pictures. <clears throat> so to take pictures, you'll simply adjust your, your zoom here, your focus, and then hit this button. Always keep it in auto mode, so the auto mode is right here you can see it um, there's actually an auto and then a kind of an auto with no flash make sure you do the auto with no flash so then if you push the button to take a picture it will snap a picture for you and this thing you also have to push the power button and it should come on You can see it's searching for GPS, so it won't get a GPS lock indoors here, but I'll try to take it outside and show you. Okay, I now have a, a GPS lock, uh, so you can see the GPS is, is uh, highlighted there. You can push the menu button and cycle back and forth between different options. So there's the GPS, the longitude. There's the latitude, there's our current altitude in meters, there's our current direction, so as you change the direction the camera's facing, it'll pick up the magnetic field. And there's the uh, UTC time and date. So, that's uh, really all there is to it. <clears throat>